Hey everybody, it's Malcolm. It's Sunday night and I just got done playing at the first Silicon Valley opening, my first over the board chess tournament. It was really exciting, a lot of fun. And in between every round, I took some time and uh, did a little vlog style recording so that I could talk to you guys about how it went and how I was feeling. Um, so I just wanted to share the experience with you guys. Uh, I'll do a little recap at the end to tell you guys what uh, my final score was and what I was rated. But let's jump in and see how pre-tournament Malcolm was feeling. Mm, good morning. Oh, Jesus, my face. Today, I'm playing in the Silicon Valley Open. It's my first ever chess tournament, which I probably already told you, unless I'm a lazy bastard and didn't write an intro, but I think I did, so this is probably going to get cut. Anyways, I'm sitting in the parking lot, and we start in, I think pairings are posted in about 22 minutes. Before we begin to Today, uh, I'm going to try and give you updates between the games. Uh, games are 90 minutes plus 30 second increment uh, per move. So hopefully I'll have time to get lunch and then also come back and see you guys. Um, and also I wanted to do a little bit of level setting. Uh, so this is my first ever chess tournament. I'm unrated. Uh, I'm rated on Lee Chess for Rapid Chess at around 1750. And on Chess.com at, at around 1400 for Rapid Chess. So based on that, in theory, I should be rated like 1350 UCSF. Um, so coming out of this tournament, the volatility is going to be really high. So I'm only going to come out with a provisional ranking. You need 25 games to get a real ranking. Maybe I'll explain that in more detail at some point. Um, but my hope is to come out of this. If I'm lower than 1100, uh, I'm probably going to be a little sad, but that'll be okay. Cause there'll be lots of room to improve. And if I'm over 1400, I'm probably overrated and got lucky. Uh, so I will let you guys know how things are going as we go through, um, but I'm excited to be here and I'm excited to see you guys. And I understand that the lighting is terrible and I know that I'm wearing a hat, which I don't on stream, but uh, yeah, just get used to it. Anyways, I'm going to go inside and I'll try and take some pictures of the playing hall and stuff so that you guys can like know what it was like. Uh, but I am too nervous that I'm going to like fuck up and not be in the right place. So I will see you guys later. All right, and here's a little recap of what the tournament hall looked like. As you can see, there are a bunch of boards. I think there were about 45 boards, and most of them were full most of the time, so a lot of players were there. It was a really pleasant environment. Great job at the San Jose Chess Club. Um, here you can see my setup for my first game. Got my coffee ready, got my score sheet out. Uh, I was playing white. Pretty pleased about it. And it was really interesting. The top boards were played on these electronic boards that you can see wires running out of. Same with the clock. Um, and that was so that those games could be watched online. So people that were interested in following what was going on with the best people of the tournament could check it out uh, based solely on the pieces having electronics running through them. You can actually see that the board was hooked up to a modem so that it could be transmitted directly to the internet, which was pretty cool. And here's another shot of the tournament hall full of players. Um, as you can see, it's a bunch of people, everybody's wearing a mask, um, and the tournament director is in there in the middle giving announcements, which was pleasant. Uh, this is the last photo I was able to take before our phones went off and we started our first game. Oh my god. I won. I won. I beat him. He was rated 1388, I think. His name was Parsa. He was very nice. And we played a game where he sort of just sort of tried to like brute force like caveman attack me early. And I played h5 and I felt very smart because if I played eight, uh, I played h4. If I played h3, I would have lost. So I felt okay. And I won a pawn eventually. I was very patient. I probably could have taken it sooner, but I was trying to play safe. And then uh, I was... He castled queenside, and I was trying to attack him on the queenside, and I hung a pawn for no reason. And then he wanted to trade, and I didn't trade. And then, when the moment came, I played something that threatened to play uh, a check that was going to be difficult for him to deal with, and he blocked it, and he did not see that I could play queen a1 to h8 takes rook. Whew. Once I was up a rook, um, he managed to win in exchange, so then I was only up a piece, but I pushed a pawn all the way down to h7. And he had to send his knight to go defend it, but I was able to defend that square with my bishop, and he couldn't figure out how to continue the game. So with about 13 minutes left on his clock and about 22 left on mine, uh, the game was over. And given the number of moves that we played, I think it was a 50-something move game, 55 moves, something like that. Um, both sides took over an hour and a half. It's actually already 12.30, so my next round starts at 1.30. Uh, so I just played chess for three and a half hours. Uh, I'm going to go eat some in and out but whoo, whoo! I won. I won a game. So now I got to go eat. I got to relax. I got to chill out. And then I got to come back for game two 
I just need to recenter myself. So I'm going to go. I think there's an in and out not too far down the road. I'm going to see if I can get that in the next hour or so. And then I'm going to come back and play round two. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm so excited. This is so much fun. Round one started at 1.30. It is 2.24. And I was playing like a... I'm going to have to look this up because I, I don't know. But what appeared to be a kid in the 8 to 11 range. Very small. Pre-puberty. Named Aiden. Um, and Aiden spent no time on any of his moves. Uh, and every time I would sit there and think, he would, like, not rudely, but, like, you could tell that he was, like, just ready to play a quick game of chess. Which, for a 90-minute uh, aside game, is rough. Um, but, you know, he's out there patiently, and he was actually very cute. Every time that I made a move he, and he was away from the board, he'd come back and be like, did you play this? And every time I was away from the board, he'd walk in and be like, I played this, it's your turn. So he was very sportsmanlike. I really liked him. Good kid. Rated about 1606, I think. Um... I was playing black and we were, he plays an opening, uh, uh, and he gets ready and he castles queen side early and I castle king side because I've pushed a couple of pawns on my queen side. Um, and then he just pushes all of his pawns on the king side and makes me like immediately. It was not close. There were a bunch of things where I was like, how quickly, how, how, how do I stave off mate? Like I, there was a point where I like did a thing and he just went like, mm -hmm. and then he played a move and I was like, oh yes, a thing I had thought of like two minutes ago that I had since forgotten about. Fuck. <laughs> so it was, uh, it was rough. It was very rough. Yeah. So now we're at, we're at one and one for the day and we just sort of chill out. Holy crap. That kid wiped the floor with me. In fact, I think the next round actually starts at like 6 PM. I might have a long time. I might go home and do some laundry. Um, Jesus Christ. So bad, but yeah, that's life. All right. See you guys after the next round. Okay, all right. It's been about uh, a couple hours, two, three hours. It was, what, 2.25 when I was done. Now it's 6 p.m. I went home. I did some laundry. I made dinner. I had uh, pork and Brussels sprouts with carrots and parsnips and a cranberry sauce. It was really good. Um, I also took a little bit of time and looked up the guy that I was playing against. Uh, he's the number 17 rated nine-year-old in the United States. So I was dead on with the 8 to 11 pickup. And uh, damn. Damn. Also, his rating has just gone like this the whole time. So uh, I'm assuming that uh, he's going to be rated higher at the end of this event. I mean, he's 2-0 already. I uh, wish him well. Um, plus, he was just so fun and polite and whatever. Uh, I'm in better spirits. I'm a little bit full because uh, I had to like hustle and eat a little earlier than I normally do. But I'm ready to go back in and enjoy myself in the next round. I think it's going to be good. All right. One out of two. Let's pick a second point here. And I think I'm playing against a guy rated like 1280, so theoretically this should be my easiest game of the day, and I get to play white. My game starts in about 14 minutes, so I'm going to go find my table, sit down, get all adjusted. I'll see you guys afterwards. <sighs> okay, just getting out. I was playing a guy named Steven Berger, uh, who is a very nice old man, balding, probably in his 70s, unclear. Anyways, we chatted for a while before the match, uh, which was really nice. He was a very sweet guy. Um, he was basically out here for the same reason that I am, because he never had a rating before, and he likes playing chess, and he figured, oh, he should have a goal about it, so his goal is to get a uh, is to get a rating, and he's rated 1288 provisionally right now. So in theory, it should have been the easiest game of the day, um, but we, I was playing white, uh, and we played a Sicilian, we played an Alapin Sicilian, and uh, man, it was actually pretty, pretty rough. Um, I felt like going into the middle game, um, and even like close to the end game, uh, things were not great. Um, but there were a couple of moments where he needed to play a tactic to ruin my prawn structure. There were several times that he could have done it, but it, it was one of those things where you have to be sure. Cause if, if you're wrong, when you play the tactic, then you just lose. Um, so I'm not sure if he didn't see it, if he, if he just wasn't sure. Um, but he ended up playing some more passive moves and then allowed me time to get my knight active into the game. And he also ended up dropping a pawn uh, so I could get my queen into the game once I finally got my pieces orchestrated, which is nice. So I finally uh, just put him in check um, and put the thing down. And he was looking. Uh, and then he was looking for a little longer. And I wasn't sure why, because the, the only reasonable move for him was to take my queen with his queen. And then I take my his queen with my pawn because uh, he was in check and I was attacking his queen. And then he played king f8. And I played queen takes f1. Uh, and he circled white one on the score sheet. So I'm actually ending the day uh, two and one, uh, which I'm pretty excited about. Yeah, wish me luck tomorrow. I'm going to go home and uh, sleep on it. But uh, I'm excited. This has been super fun. I think I'm going to do this again. Um, I would highly encourage if you guys get the opportunity to go out and play a tournament. Anyways, have a good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Um, 
I'm kind of tired, but I got to sleep in a little bit more today. Uh, round starts at 10. It's 9.39, so I got a little bit of time to get in and get saddled, but I can talk to you guys first. Uh, today, I start out by playing a guy named Bert Egley, who I think is rated 15.05, uh, and I'm going to be playing black. It's unclear what to expect out of this game, given my performance thus far in the tournament. So I'm just going to sit there and try and play reasonable moves all the way uh, until the end, and hopefully I don't get steamrolled like I did against that nine-year-old, because holy shit, that did not feel good. Oh, oh gosh. All right. But I'm going to drink some more coffee, wake up. Um, I'll talk to you guys after the round. See you soon. All right. So I am uh, talking to you guys from the line in and out because it's 129 and the next round starts at two. Uh, the game was a marathon game. It was 90 something moves. I think I'll have to check it later. Bert was a very nice man. I think he's the same age as my dad and my mom. Um, and he was very pleasant. He's been playing for a very long time, rated about 1507, I think. And I was playing black. And I did a good job out of the opening. There was a lot of pressure. I forced some trades. Uh, we were doing well. Um, and then we got to a position where it was all blocked up. And I could have uh, basically just done nothing. And it would have been impossible for him to make forward progress. And the game would have been a draw. And I looked at something and thought, mm, maybe I can get my king in there. And maybe I could be playing for a win. Uh, and then he, and then as soon as I hit the clock, I thought, oh, no, uh, I was wrong. And spent the next 70 moves forcing him to justify that he could beat me out of the position, uh, which he could. Uh, so I ended up losing that game. I'm proud of having played resiliently. I'm glad I forced him to actually checkmate me. Um, and it was, uh, it was a fun game. It was uh, emotionally difficult to realize that blunder and then sit there and just keep making moves. But I forced a lot out of him. Uh, I almost got a threefold repetition, actually. So I think I gave myself extra chances. You know, it's one of those, the, the chance to turn a zero to a 0.5, you know, if there are some percentage points there, you got to take them if you're going to try and win. Anyways, I need to keep moving forward in this line so that I can eat food and start the next round on time. But uh, I'll talk to you guys after that. I have no idea who I'm playing. I'll let you know when I know. Bye. <sighs> okay. The last round of the day was against a guy rated 11 something named Jeremy Callis. Uh, it turns out he was another Googler, which is cool. And uh, we played, I was white in a French defense uh, and things were going fine. And I felt like I was making good progress on the queen side, though my position was a little bit crunched and I was trying not to lose too many tempi sort of consolidating. And I played well. And then I was like, oh, he's losing a pawn here. So I took his pawn and then he pinned my bishop to my queen. And I was like, oh, I can play this. And then I was like, oh, well, I can't play that. That loses everything. So then I tried to figure out how to get some counterplay, and that actually lost me more material. And so I lost uh, pretty quickly. It was, the game was about an hour and a half. So rough way to end the end the day. Uh, I'll know what my provisional rating ends up being after I sit down and calculate it. Haven't quite done that yet. Still just sort of breathing out, getting out of the rest of the game. And I just, I feel gassed at the end of it. I feel, uh, you know, when you like drink a bunch of caffeine and you don't eat a bunch of food and you just sort of get like empty inside, a little shaky. That's kind of where I'm at right now, which isn't an excuse, but it's just kind of, that's where I'm at. But it was a fun weekend. I really enjoyed it. I want to do this again sometime soon. Um, then I achieved my goal of at least winning one game. I went two and three on the weekend. Feeling good about it. Feel like there's plenty of opportunity to grow. Had a really good time. Yeah, would recommend. All right, peace out. All right, so that was the weekend. Two and three, probably about how I expected things to go all in all. Hard to be too upset. A full weekend, uh, really enjoyable, very taxing. It was uh, extremely draining. It's very hard to think for that long. Okay, so the provisional ratings came out this evening. They said they were going to be tomorrow, but uh, they came out today, which is nice because I can wrap all this up tonight. Um, my provisional rating is 1340. So on the high end of what I was thinking it would be, and it's pretty close to what uh, the Lee Chess to UCSF conversion would be. I'm feeling pretty good about that tournament showing. Uh, I'm really looking forward to sitting down, studying the games that I lost, and I really want to do this again, especially because it seems like a great way to travel. You go play in a tournament for a weekend, you hang out in the city for a week, get acclimated, um, meet some cool people, uh, play a game that you like. Um, it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, look forward to another video where I sit down and I actually go through the games in detail. I'll probably try and do a quick recap of each game, maybe 20 minutes in total, um, just so you get a sense of how I won, how I lost, and I can talk a little bit about where I think my areas to improve are. But thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate being able to share the ride. I'll see you guys next time.